congratulations on the win. Yes, um, what recording know your in progress. Wanted to know your overall thoughts on the game. Um, and then also looking at how you guys seem to come alive in the second half against Colorado when a lot of teams usually fade with the altitude and everything that's going on. Yeah, we, I mean, we knew it was going to be a challenging game, altitude, opposition at home, playing for their season. Uh, you know, they came out and they shifted their lineup a bit and went to a straight kind of back five. <clears throat> so they were, you know, it was sometimes not so easy to penetrate, you know, in the back. And so a lot of our, some of our attacks stayed in front of them a little more than we'd like to. And uh, so we were just trying to solve that issue through different parts of the game, just, you know, how we wanted to to break their lines. Uh, different things that I think you're just trying to solve some of the problems of the game as they arise through the course of the game, which is, you know, it happens in a game, especially when you have an opposition that is playing for their lives. So I thought the guys did a good job of, uh, of just kind of working through it. Um, ultimately, I think in the end, you know, when a team starts to push for us, against us, uh, spaces open up, transitions start to to show themselves, they, they went out of being in a back five into a four, then they put a winger on the right back to try to take up high positions. All those things are very aggressive attacking sort of postures. And uh, I think we're just so good in transition that that's, you know, if you open yourselves up, uh, open up a team opens up unnecessarily, then there's just, a, there's a lot of, there can be a lot of penalty for that. And we, we took advantage of some of those situations. I think, again, we probably had a couple others that we didn't necessarily make the right choice on the pass or we, we missed the pass for one reason or another. We probably had a few more chances to, to get on goal. Um, but yeah, I mean, part of it for us today was remaining, trying to remain a little bit patient through the course of the game and not feeling like we had to rush into anything to, you know, we knew they had to win today and we needed to try to play against that a little bit. So at times we went too fast, at times it was fine. Um, but it, at the end of the day in the playoffs, it, it doesn't re really matter. You get through and you move on to the next round. On the, uh, real quick, on the goals from, uh, from Peck, obviously a little fluky, but looking at Joseph, I know that that's one of the guys you've been trying to get going and having him score, quote unquote, the game winning goal there. Um, how important is that for you guys? That's uh, huge. I, you know, I think, Joe's been putting in the shift on that side. He's, you know, he's had to defend low for us sometimes, and then he's breaking out in transition. Sometimes he makes hard runs in transitions, and we don't get it to him in the right, the right ways. Uh, you know, he had the goal called back in Houston, which was a little bit unfortunate, but he, he gets this one tonight, and it proved to be a massive goal. Uh, allowed us to play from the top for most of the game, which, uh, which helps us out because, again, at some point they have to open themselves up to, to try to get that goal back, and that's when you know we've really punished them over the last um, the last few games. So I'm happy for him. Again, it's it's not always easy um, over there, and he he does he's doing the work, and he's just committing to committing to the moments. He had another good shot a little bit earlier. It ended up being right at uh, right at uh, Zach, um, but in the second half he had another one that that he didn't quite hit. I don't think as well as he'd like to, but he was getting in some looks, which is which is important to keep him keep him involved. Thanks, Greg. Travel safe. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Justin Ruderman. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, hi, Greg. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on the win. Thanks. Um, Ricky Puj, obviously, continuing his uh, fantastic end of the season form, but right at the end of the season there, he was snubbed for, for that MVP shortlist and seems to not have missed a beat here with two braces uh, in two games. Do you feel that he should have been considered in that MVP conversation? And also, just how ready do you feel he is to lead this team to a championship this year? Yeah, look, Ricky is definitely one of the, the top talents in our league. You know, how ultimately how people decide who is in the MVP running, there's probably a number of, a small number of guys who are like in that conversation, I think. Ricky's in that conversation. I don't. I don't really have a dog in the fight in terms of who the top two or three or one is. I think he's a he's an important player for us. He drives our team from possessions to attacks. He finishes things for us. I think Ricky on any day will will trade in the opportunity to win a an MLS Cup uh, before an, an MVP trophy. I think he's continuing to develop inside of our team. Right. He continued to be the the engine and the motor inside of our group. So. Uh, I definitely think he's amongst that, that group, that cast of, of players who were there. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, of all of our guys, Gabriel, who's had a great season, was the, was the one that was recognized, and he deserves it as well. So I, 
I, I don't know. I'm happy that Ricky's playing great now because this is the stage in which you make the biggest statement right now, not not during the regular season. Thank you. Uh, go, ahead. Uh, go ahead, Al. Sorry. Hey, Greg. Uh, congratulations on the victory and advancing in the in this round. I um, just wanted to ask you just how satisfied were you with the you know the defense, the overall team, and you know kind of being able to close down this game um, and this series already. And, you know, those maybe last 10 minutes before the goal came, it seemed like Colorado maybe had a bit more of the momentum. Just how happy are, are you with the defensive effort? Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased because, honestly, John didn't really have to make too many saves. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't remember. Maybe I'm, maybe I just don't remember, but I don't remember John having to come up with a really big save uh, in the second half. I feel like, you know, when they got their head on a ball or something, it was always things bouncing in front of him. He was easily kind of containing those things. So the guys did a good job of, you know, dealing with things in front of the goal, trying to block and get in front of shots, uh, minus the one in the first half. You know, I thought we did a good job of trying to prevent some of the service, and if they got it, we had good density in front of the goal to be able to clear things out. You know, as the game progressed, and you always know in these these games when the opposition is playing for their life, as I said earlier, they're going to start throwing more numbers higher. They're going to start pushing guys into the box. They brought on a second forward, then they brought on a, a winger to play as a as a fullback and you've got to manage those situations and the repercussions for them of doing that is they open up themselves on the other side and that's when we finish the game. And so uh, just really proud of the group for, for digging in and, and yeah, protecting our goal, protecting our box as much as we needed to. And then, and then utilizing the space on the transition. I thought Eddie had a big game uh, helping out our group just in front of the back line, just covering a lot of ground and territory over the course of the game. Not always easy to do here, and he, he grinded it out through the whole game. So I thought he was great, and I thought the center backs did a good job of just dealing with stuff in front of our goal. And, uh, and of course, John was there when we needed him, and, and everything was uh, was dealt with. Thank you, Greg. Stay traveling back. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead, Sophie. Hello, Greg. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Sophie. Um, after the Houston game, um, in the press conference, you talked about mm -hmm. mental engagement and closing out. And during the season, we've talked about ruthlessness as well. That was sheer ruthlessness at the end of this match, which you must have loved. Yeah, uh, I think both things were on display at the end, which was a, hard, a group of guys that were working hard to protect the goal, protect their box, playing every play defensively. Didn't mean it was perfect, but they were putting in the shift. And when our group does that again, and we make the plays we need to make, the space on the other side is where we are ruthless. Uh, and we've shown that in the last three games against these guys. And uh, I think there are reasons why we weren't great uh, in the Houston game. And we tried to address those coming into this series. And I thought we were a lot better in the series with some of those things. But yeah, I thought the guys did a, just a really good job of being resilient to cross the back. And uh, you know, we know the the quality and the capacity of our group. If there's space to to be running forward into, we've we've been great at that all season. I think it's just combining the two at the end of games has been, especially in these first, last two games, has just been really really big for us. Thank you. Safe travels. Thank you. And we'll wrap up with Rob. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, Greg. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Rob. Um, as uh, as your prize now that the team has uh, 22 or 23 days off, um, thoughts on the long layoff and, and potentially what the team could get up to? Is there potential for, for a friendly anywhere in there? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we we sat down and we've, you know, we've set out a schedule depending on whether we won this tonight and we had a long stretch or whether we had to play next week in a shorter stretch. Uh, you know, the guys already sent in their negotiators for trying to get an extra day off or two. So we had to deal with that already. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we what we'll do is we'll give the guys a little chance to recover and because it's such a long break and then we'll come in and we've established a way that we want to maintain rhythm. We'll we'll certainly play uh, a couple of friendlies, whether they're from with teams from the outside or whether we just do it internally at this part of the year. You, you kind of like to have guys who all know the the importance of this time of year so we don't get into any silliness but um we'll we'll see um but yeah it's gonna we're gonna try to maintain our rhythm it's it's tough in a in the playoffs when you have three weeks between one game and the next that it just that planning needs to get figured out a little bit better down the line but um but yeah we, we'll we'll stay in the best rhythm we can and and be ready for the next one Travel side, Greg, all right thanks everyone thanks for your time greg yep